Connecticut campaign conversations continues all week and tonight we're on the road with our partners at CT Insider to hear from voters. Today's stop was in Hartford and Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Agalel shares the issues that are top of mind in the capital city. We are now less than three weeks away from Election Day and here in Hartford voters shared a number of issues that are top of mind for them as we get closer to the election. Like, I'm really big on my women's rights, and I'm a little worried about that. Our campaign conversations took us to Fire by Forge in Hartford. That's where we met Shakoya Samuels. And honestly, I think I'm ready for um, our first female president, so. Throughout the day, we heard from voters about the issues they care most about. So education is really important, and climate. <laughs> climate problems and water problems. Tamara Butler is Team Harris, while Sergi Berrybin is Team Trump. I'd like to see no wars in this world. Uh, so most of the money staying in this country instead of going to Ukraine and all these other wars that we should not be part, partaking at all in, you know what I mean? All week long, WFSB is partnering with CT Insider as part of our Connecticut campaign conversations. Today is a very small sample, and I want to emphasize that. But I would say that I was alarmed or surprised at the degree of non-enthusiasm for Kamala Harris, Vice President Harris. CT Insider's Dan Har shares what he's come across on the campaign trail. I spoke to several black voters who said we're not voting for her just because she's black and we're black. We're going to vote what we see and what we hear and what we think and our pocketbooks. Prices matter, of course. And we'll be continuing our campaign conversations for the rest of the week. Tomorrow, Chief Capital Reporter Susan Raff and CT Insider's Dan Har will be in Torrington at Bad Dog Brewing Company. You can head to ctinsider.com to see Dan Har's take on his day in Hartford and what it means for the presidential race. Reporting in Hartford, Aglan, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.